right, Larry D. This is for you. You should already be signed into your YouTube account. You go over here to the right hand corner and uh, left click on your icon for your channel. You can go to my channel. Here you can see, you know, basically what your viewers see. You got the list of videos, shows uh, how many subscribers you got. Um, uh, you also can take your videos and group them into playlists. Uh, this is a real good way to group your videos. Uh, you can even put other people's videos in here. And when folks are looking for a certain type of video, they may actually click into your playlist and watch more videos of yours than they normally would just by everything being in one spot play all all of them would play or they can jump out or in or whatever they want to do it it works really well on music videos I'll I'll find music that's related to what I'm looking for that way they'll be in someone else's playlist then when I find it I will uh, scrape it off their playlist and put it on my playlist so that's how I got 105 songs on there so let's go back over to the uh, account left click go to creator studio because this is what really what you were wanting to know is something about how to see things and you can see i'm a i'm a big time player here uh that's last month's revenue <laughs> so i didn't get a check last month i didn't hit 100 bucks or whatever it is i gained 38 subscribers uh you can go down and get uh get into more analytics here later I want to show you some stuff about you know modifying your videos you go to video manager each video if you didn't set it up correctly the first time if you don't like your title if you don't like your description or you need to add more to your description or your title or monetize it or not all that kind of stuff is can be changed in here so this is your title if you don't like it change it right here this is your description this is how YouTube Google Bing Yahoo any of the other search engines this is how they actually find your video is the words you put in here uh, describe your video so you need to be very descriptive uh, about your video if you don't like this thumbnail this picture here you can change it um, you can put some keywords down here that kind of describe what's going on or, or if it's educational or if it's a tip or whatever now monetization if you forgot to monetize your video you can do that here now keep in mind you don't have to do this to each and every video every time you put one up you can set some of this stuff stuff up where it will automatically monetize your videos and it'll automatically monetize them a certain way you know you'll have this clicked and that clicked and that clicked and if you've got a couple of couple of videos that you're confident that they're they're you know good they should get plenty of views then try one video with skippable ads and maybe the other video without skippable ads and see which one in a month or two or three go back in your analytics and look and see which one uh, made you more money okay don't forget to save your changes And uh, you can go over to your analytics and you could look at, um, you could look at each, there's a lot of stuff you can look at here, but you could look at that particular video and see how much money it made you. Or, um, that's not the way you do it there. Let's see here. Revenue report. I don't think that's going to be it either, but we'll see. You just take your time and flip around. There we go. Okay, you can see, you know, this particular video last month made me $9.12, roughly. Okay. Just kind of play around in there. You can check it out and all that and make this video a whole lot shorter if you just take your time. And What's really important is watch time. If you know that most people are only watching three minutes of uh, 
video, two minutes and 55 seconds is the average, average duration. So I really should limit my videos to three minutes to try to get more audience retention. Okay, demographics, you can see here, um, you know, the age group, male, female. Um, if you go back up here and scroll down to here and click on that, you can see what countries you're getting your videos from. You got page over over here. You can see there's pages and pages and pages of countries that uh, actually watch us crazy Americans do stuff. Let's see, what else do we need to look at? Uh, analytics, you can take your time through that. You can go look at it yourself. Let's look at uh, community is where your, where your viewers can communicate with you. This is basically how um, your comments to your videos will come into uh, the way I've got mine set up anyway. I've got mine set up uh, so that the comments have to go, have to be either uh, approved or in some cases with some people they're pre-approved so the con all the comments would actually come into here if I haven't pre-approved them by pre-approving I mean certain users can say whatever they want as far as uh, I have said that they are okay to say whatever they want other people are going to go in here for a vetting process and I'll click them and either approve them or click them and disapprove them or throw them away or report them as spam you come over to the spam tab and check it and make sure there's not any good stuff in here that you can pull out and approve. Um, if there's stuff in here that is spam, you need to label it as spam and, and all that stuff gets taken care of. Um, let's go over, let's go back over here for a second. I want to show you here. We're back into the video editing advanced settings. That's what I didn't show you. So here is where um, all my comments that come into this video, the only ones that are going to show are the ones that are approved by me. So if you opened this up to all, you would get more stupid country bumpkin ugly, fat, dumb, this is dumb, uh, come buy my stuff, come click on, click here for a better video, that kind of junk. So I don't, I don't want to go through all that, so I just say, you know what, the only comments that are going to show are the ones that I approve. There's also A way to um, I'm trying to I'm trying to see. Here's a way to uh, allow certain people to uh, be able to say stuff. So it cuts down on the amount of stuff you have to approve. Here we go. Probably uh, there's another way. If you get uh, private messages from your viewers, they will come to this area here. And you can communicate with your viewers that way. You can uh, you can look here and, and see who is actually subscribed to you. And a good tool here is um, a lot of these guys are just you know they're just viewers. They don't have any content or anything like that. They're just you know the average Joe on YouTube. But some of these people actually have subscribers. And if this guy cares enough about your content to subscribe to you. And he has some subscribers. You might want to click on his on his channel and see if you would be interested in his content. And if so, subscribe. Because if his 118 in, in this one case, in this guy's case, that he has 118 people that subscribe to his channel because they like what he has. If Ivan's Bikes likes what you have, then there's a chance that his 118 subscribers may see that Ivan likes your channel and they may subscribe to your channel as a result. What I do to upload a video, you just go over here to this arrow, upload, and now you, this is the case where you've already built your 
video. So let me back up. So now we're in movie, uh, my movie, movie maker. This is on Windows 10 platform. Let's just say you have uh, you've you've already gone through and and recorded all of your information, all of your files, your videos, your pictures, whatever you're going to use to build your final product. This is where you're going to come and assemble it. Uh, you're going to go into Add Videos and Photos, and you need to go find uh, where that um, particular video uh, is. In this case, I've only got, at this point, there's one piece of data. We just got through recording that. We're going to put it in here. And it will take, uh, you know, according to how long the depending upon how long the video is, it could take several minutes for this to load. All right, I just pulled in that last little clip that I did. So now we have two clips in here to, uh, to play with. Uh, what can you do? So we used uh, add videos. We selected those two and, and brought them in and waited for them to download. Now we can edit them. Let's just say that... Uh, I wanted to add a song to <clears throat> to the beginning of this uh, video, or all the way through. It really wouldn't matter either way you want to go. You can uh, what what I did several a couple three years ago, I guess, is I went in and put uh, I put some music on some of my videos. Then later found out that uh, you can't do that. You know, some of the music that I used was copyrighted and. You just can't do that. You can't even have a radio playing in the background. Um, you know, the, the music that plays on the radio, the, um, the software is going to pick it up. They know what song is playing, and they will ask you specifically if you have rights to, uh, to do that. And, of course, in my case, I did not. I haven't made, the, I haven't made any music, so I have no rights to use it. Unless, of course, it's free for that purpose. So I found several songs uh, that were uh, useful like that. These here, except for that one. Uh, and I'll just uh, I'll just select one here, and we'll we'll put it on. So it's going to actually insert itself uh, down here at the beginning of the second clip, which is uh, uh, okay. But if I didn't want it there, I could. Uh, click on here go to music tools and I could change the start point I could go all the way to the beginning and uh, I could put that music there or I could drag it I can, I'm scrolling down by the way I could drag that probably all the way over uh, you can say you know set your start point at zero and that would be the beginning there's several ways you can play with this uh, at zero would have to be on z at zero of this clip, not of that clip, if you wanted it to be on the other one. So uh, we'll just leave it right there. That's fine. We also can, we're on the music tool editor. We can fade it in. We can fade it out. And we can change the volume so it's not overpowering my voice on this video I can change the volume of the music to way bring it way down and when I come over here to uh, to the video editor uh, I really don't want to fade my voice in or out but I can change the volume uh, you know if I wanted things louder or more silent then I could do that another thing that you can change on this uh, video editor if um, if we play this for a second, and just see what happens. Uh, see what how it started. All right, Larry D. Okay, so I've got a few seconds of dead airspace there. I can back this up and say set start point. That'll get rid of that. All right, Larry D. So it starts right, uh, you know, within a second or so, it starts right into it. So, yeah, right at a second. 
All right. So if there's something in here within the uh, clip that I don't like, what I would do, um, you can use your trim tool. Now the trim tool is only going to keep what's in the middle. So you got to be careful with that. You'll lose a lot of data that way. Start point, end point, trim tool does the middle. Um, you can just play around with it. If you got a shaky one, you stabilize it. Uh, just play around with all this stuff. You're not going to hurt anything. If you did something you didn't mean to do, just back up. There's your back arrow. Okay, I'm really not ready to save this, but uh, I, I can't possibly complete the video since I'm still recording the video. So let's just say that I have all my all my pieces in here and everything's edited. I'm ready to save it for the purpose of putting it on YouTube. I want to go over here to the home button and slide over here to save movie. And you want to select the one that says YouTube. If you if you do the this one here, it makes it so. I guess it makes it too big, or it's in some different file format, or whatever. But it takes it can take hours to upload a video to YouTube if you select the wrong setting. So do yourself a favor and select the one that says YouTube. Click on that and just sit back with a bottle of water for a little bit and it'll save eventually and then you can uh, then you can get out of there and, and go to YouTube which is where we're heading next. Alright we're assuming you're still logged in as yourself on the channel that you want this video to be published on. If you have more than one you need to make sure you're on the right channel. Go to this arrow, this upload arrow here, and click on it. If you want this video to be public, viewable by anyone, anywhere, at any time, that's what you'll choose. If you do not want that, then uh, you can have it unlisted. And this is... Uh, probably the case where this video may end up is unlisted so that I can share it with you and I can send you a link to it you'll be able to see it and no one else would be able to see that unless they had the link if I wanted it to if I was wanted to put this on my uh, on YouTube server and no one else see it I'd make it private no one can find it if you make one private, even if someone has the link to the video, they can't see it. That's at least the experience that uh, that I have seen. Now, if you're having a really good day and you have been able to make, let's just say, five videos in one day and you've got them all edited, you can upload all five of them let's just say on a Sunday, and schedule one to upload on Monday, one to upload on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, and one on Friday. So your whole week's worth of uploads are done on the weekend. That's what the scheduled button would be for. So you're going to, uh, let's just say, I'm just going to pick one I've got. Let's go, go unlisted, click there, go uh, I was wrong. I don't want that. I want that one. And open. Okay, while that's uploading, you go ahead and get your title the way you want it. Get your description written the way you want it. Slide over here and make sure it's monetized. How you want it monetized. Are your advanced settings correct the way you want them? Um, and, and when it gets done uploading, then you're just going to publish it. This done will turn into uh, a publish and you'll click on that. Uh, that's it. Now I'll show you a little trick once this gets uploaded. I'll show you a trick. Okay I changed videos on you because I, I wasn't ready for that one to be published anyway. But uh, when the video that you just uploaded 
gets done and you publish it, there will be a, a video URL pop up. It'll basically say your video can be viewed here. And it'll, be, it'll look something similar to this right here. What you want to do is uh, right click on that and copy it. Now I've got um, a couple of shortcuts here. Submit URL. You want to go to Bing. Submit your site to Bing. Right click, paste, left click in here, type in what you see. Says why why and submit and it says it was successfully submitted. You want to do the same thing, of course, to Google. You've still got the uh, the shortcut to the uh, video is still in your is still saved. So right click, paste, say you're not a robot. Submit your request, and up here it should say it'll be processed shortly. Okay, when you submit your video URL to a search engine, what you're doing is inviting that search engine to come to your video and crawl it. And it, when it crawl, when it's crawling a video, it's looking to see what is your video about. It's reading. The title it's reading your video description it's reading these keywords down here it's looking at everything that you have typed in there to try to figure out how to categorize this video and what to uh, when, when people are asking for particular subjects you know it needs to know what you have to offer this is a real, this is the, the the fastest way to get your material in front of Google and Bing is to submit the URL. Otherwise, if you just make the video and don't submit it, then you're going to be just waiting for Google, YouTube, and Bing to manually, you know, crawl that video to see what it's about. So do yourself a favor, submit it, and that's the same for uh, if you guys are developing websites and updating your web pages on your websites. If you have made a change to your page or a change to your site, you need to copy that page's URL and submit it to Bing and Google and Yahoo and whoever else you think might be out there, you know, looking for it. So. Pro tip, do it. Just in case it's not painfully obvious, this entire video was made for the purpose of uh, educating as much as I could one person. However, I put uh, quite a bit of time into it, so I figured I'd let everybody else look at it as well. So if you don't uh, agree with what I said, that's fine. You know, we all have opinions. If it was wrong, which it wasn't. Uh, that's okay. We all have opinions. You can make a better video. If you don't like the one that I made, then please make a better video and uh, show me something. Because obviously, I don't know what in the world I'm doing. I'm only 51. This video was um, made using the Xbox app on Windows 10. Um, apparently all you have to do is hold down the Windows key and push the G button on your keyboard. It'll open up and you say, you click the box that says this is a game and then record, start recording. And that's about it. Play around with it. Make sure your microphone's on.
uh, before you get into a big long dissertation about something and then you realize you weren't recording. So that's really all I got to add. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I sincerely apologize. But you have a nice day anyway. Thanks for watching.